Welcome to another tutorial video in the FX Factory podcast series. In this tutorial, I'd like to show you Video Wall from SugarFX. I'm in motion, but this effect works in Final Cut Pro, Final Cut Express, and After Effects as well. I'll start by adding a clip to my project and adding the effect from my library, Effects, Sugar Effects, Video Wall. It's best to use this effect on a clip that is at the resolution you'd like to deliver, 720p HD in this case. If you'd like to use a smaller clip like a web video, start off with the effect on an HD clip like this one, and you can add the web video clip later in the parameters. More on this in a minute. Let's go through some of the presets and see what Video Wall is all about. Video Wall is a filter that provides a way to create unique and interesting multi video clip animations or even video wall setups with a desired number of video holders in rows or column arrangements. There are tons of presets, as you can see from the previews that will have the options of loading video clips into these placeholders. Next to the preset names, you'll see a letter S, A, or E. These denote the different modes available to you, standard, advanced, and expert. Standard mode allows you to do your own animating of the different parameters with keyframes. Advanced mode adds built-in animations and is recommended for most users. Expert mode has additional Uber features and is recommended once you become a video wall power user and want to experiment further. Using motion is suggested by SugarFX for advanced and expert modes since it uses your graphics card for real-time previews of the built-in animations. I like this preset called FlexiWall. Let's jump in and create our exciting promo. In the main setup section, I can adjust the position of this animation using the standard X, Y, and Z axes. I like where the animation sits now, so I'll leave it alone. I'll check gradient background, and you'll see it draw a blue gradient behind my video wall. The cool thing is that now you see a gradient background parameter has just appeared, so I can adjust the settings. Video Wall has a ton of features, but is smart enough to hide what you don't need. I'll make some tweaks to the background color. The Lighting Style box is set to standard, meaning everything is equally illuminated. I could create my own custom lighting scheme if I wanted to by choosing Custom Setup. I'll leave this at standard for right now. The Video Images section controls the images in the Video Wall. I have control over parameters like size, opacity, and even exposure. As you can see in the canvas, I have a second video image I can add. I'll go ahead and add a second video clip I've prepared to Motion's media folder. Then I'll drag it to the image well under reverse side. Under the Interface section, I can change how I'm viewing the project in 3D space, similar to Motion's camera controls. Camera view, top view, right view, and left view. Clicking the pointer icon with a question mark will load a tutorial video specific to this parameter, a nice touch. You are probably starting to see how powerful this effect is. There are so many other parameters you have control over. Check out the in-depth PDF manual at any time by clicking the Sugar Effects logo at the top of the effect. I like this effect, so I'll save it as a preset. To finish this up, I'll quickly pull in my initial racing clip again, composited on top of this animation. I'll add the video wall effect to this clip as well. I'll move this to about 5 seconds in, after the first animation has completed. I'll choose the preset Video Feedback Effect. I'll add a border and tweak the color and thickness. I'll make some adjustments under the Populate settings to my Z depth and spacing. The Populate settings control the video iterations on the grid, or in this case, the stack. I'll adjust the opacity up a bit to make the video clip more visible. Next, I'll go down to the 3D world settings and rotate this in 3D space. We're in standard mode here, so I can do a quick keyframe of the parameters. 
I'll add a fade up behavior to the whole clip. A little bit of text on top and a cool FX Factory multiple spotlight on the whole group. And we've got a racing promo that went from nothing to cool in about three minutes. As you can probably guess, I have barely scratched the surface of Video Wall from SugarFX. FX Factory offers a trial period, and this is a great one to try out. FX Factory offers a huge selection of great plugins. And if you don't have them yet, I suggest you go try them out at noiseindustries.com.